And they said, well, David, it may be, a, you may have the choice of making the movie with Steven Seagal or not making the movie at all. Because we, we may just get shut down by, by polygram. If you can't deliver somebody of note. And so I said, Vin wasn't uh, wasn't an immediate shoe in. There was someone else who was uh, who was being uh, suggested quite heavily that you cast as Riddick. I, I, I'm right in thinking that. Somebody else that I didn't cast as Riddick. You mean somebody else who you, who you did not cast, but who oh. was being heavily pushed uh, for the, the the role. Would you be thinking of Steven Seagal? I would be thinking of Steven Seagal. I only discovered this the other day, and it amazed me. I'm like. What a different film that would have been had Steven Seagal ended up as the Riddick we know. How, 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 how did that happen? What happened? Well done. <laughs> uh, I was down in Australia in pre-production and just starting to build sets down there. It's got locations and starting to uh, secure stage space. And we still hadn't cast the, the Riddick role. Mm. And people were getting nervous. And so somebody from Radar said to me, how about Steven Seagal? He gets the movie made. And I said, not gonna do that. Just not gonna do that. And they said, well, David, it may be, a, you may have the choice of making the movie with Steven Seagal or not making the movie at all. Because we, we may just get shut down by, by polygram. If you can't deliver somebody of note. And so I said, I would rather shut it down. Wow. So that was one of those moments where you think, where you re you're on the phone and you realize this is a life-changing moment right here. Yeah. You know, which way, which way am I going to go? And had, had you seen Vin by this point? No. Um, so I'm talking to a mid-level guy at uh, Radar, and I said, I'd rather shut it down. So there's your answer. Take it back to your Lord and Master's. And so then the Lord Masters call me up and they go, well, here's the situation. We've already, we sent him the script. He likes it. He wants to do it. And we said, the part is yours pending a meeting with the director, which was the saving grace. So I'd come back to LA. So I let them know I'm, I'm not doing it, but mm -hmm. they asked me to take the meeting anyway, to come back to LA, take the meeting, and then blow the meeting, you know, find, a, <laughs> find a way to blow the meeting, um, which was not hard to do because you just, you just couldn't, you couldn't see him in the role there. I mean, you just couldn't, you couldn't put that character that you'd written uh, and Steven Seagal together uh, mm -hmm. and, and in any way see the movie working. No, I, th I thought it ought to be, ought to be something that we weren't familiar with and didn't carry all that baggage with him. So that's, that's out of desperation when um, the same guy who was actually pitching Steven Seagal, Ted Field, had the, uh, the now brilliant idea of Vin Diesel. He says, what about this guy? I know him a bit. He's, got his, he's, he's kind of a filmmaker. He's kind of a hustler. <laughs> but he's got the look. He's got the voice. What do you think? And so Vin and I talked and then uh, the audition, we put him on a film with, with Rada and, and Cole. And then we cast him off that. So we we're basically got down to the place that every, most directors dream of. It's like just, okay, I'm down to the best available cast. I'm just able to cast the best available cast. And that was those three people. And 